Good day everyone, Pase Bonner here. We are now on this February 28, 2024 NBA game day. We got like six, day, six uh, games for today. And to kick things off, this is an interconference uh, matchup between Dallas Mavericks and Toronto Raptors. This one will happen at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. That's going to be 8.30 a.m. here in Manila. And I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pase Bonner. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. Dallas Mavericks approaching this game, they got a record of 33 wins and 25 losses. While for Toronto Raptors, they have a record of 22 and 36. Well, both, uh, I mean, both, uh, not really both, but Dallas Mavericks doing well with their standings. Toronto Raptors obviously way below 500%. But Toronto Raptors, you know, uh, lately have been playing well. Toronto Raptors giving themselves a chance to at least make it to the top 10. We all know that we actually provide free picks right here in our YouTube channel, Pase Baller. But for those who would want to avail our premium picks or premium packages, you can reach us through Instagram, Telegram, WhatsApp, or even Messenger account. Just take a look at the descriptions of our videos and you would see the details right there. By the way, for those our premium subscribers, congratulations. You know, we've been winning three days in a row. Alright, so here we go. Um, the spread, by the way, on this one is minus 2.5. Is it still minus 2.5? Uh, let me take a look. It's at minus it's at minus three now. Minus three, and that's given towards Dallas Mavericks. So Toronto Raptors, they will have the home court advantage on this. Not only that, they also have the advantage in terms of fatigue because Dallas Mavericks actually played last night when they went up against Cleveland Cavaliers. Not only that, Toronto Raptors, they also are having advantage in terms of momentum. Approaching this game, Toronto Raptors, they have won three straight. And for their last 10 games, they have won five. While Dallas Mavericks, approaching this game, they are on back-to-back -back losses. Now let's take a look at the... Uh, health and availability for uh, for both of uh, these squads. Um, starting with Dallas Mavericks, I see one player. What happened? Um, I see one player who is out, and that's Dante Exum. But for Toronto Raptors, I see a couple of players in their IL. And those are Marquis Noel, who is confirmed out. And we have Jacob Bertel listed as questionable or game time decision. All right, uh, this one's a bit tricky. I mean, a lot of factors uh, really pointing towards Toronto Raptors, you know. They are at home. They are well-rested. Dallas Mavericks, they are on back-to-back -back games and back-to-back -back nights. Um, Toronto Raptors also carrying with them very good momentum as they have been winning since All-Star break. Uh, but then it's kind of tricky because uh, we ain't sure whether Pertil will be playing. Just like what I said earlier, uh, Pertil is unquestionable status, and he is on game time decision. Um, this is gonna be tough for real, because you know I I, I respect Dallas Mavericks' um, uh, capability to actually score a lot, you know, and to actually run the ball. But you know, I just can't say no, uh, you know, to the factors pointing towards Toronto. Again, that's home court. That's uh, you know, th that's a fatigue factor uh, pointing towards them. And again, uh, the, the, the momentum, man. Most importantly, the momentum. They got some momentum coming on to this, coming on to this game. They even defeated uh, Indiana Pacers uh, upright. So that's something huge. So they must, you know, they, they are humming at the, at the moment. And of course, I'm giving respect to Dallas Mavericks because of Luka and uh, Kyrie. And I'm looking at Toronto Raptors. They got some, you know, they got some players who can actually uh, at least um, minimize uh, the damage that Kyrie and Luka can do. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with Toronto Raptors. I know it's gonna be very tough for them without Pertle. In any case, Pertle will not, you know, suit up and play. But I'm gonna stick with Toronto Raptors, and I'll go ahead and take that plus three spread. Again, that's Toronto Raptors plus three. I'm expecting another huge game from Barnes and RJ Barrett. Peace out. Pass love. God bless.